We're just a massive family, to be honest. Everyone's connected to one another. When you see another Indigenous fella around or something like that, you're always going to say hello. You kind of just connect in that way. It's just the history of the Aboriginal culture. It's Australian history. And I think that's what every community and every Aboriginal tries to get across. Hey guys, I'm Jada Wyman. I play with the Western Sydney Wanderers as the goalkeeper in the W League. I thought to let you guys know a little bit about me before we start asking each other questions. Um, and Sherry Yarn is about getting all athletes from any code and sending them out into the community around Australia, rural or remote, and kind of getting them to have a feel of what Australia is like and what different communities are like as well. We also have a digital platform where we communicate through that and asking them questions about the sports they're interested in, their culture, what they do around the community, and then they send back a video of maybe doing those skills or what they do in the community. With hunting back in Wagga, go fishing a fair bit um, down at the Murrumbidgee River. So yeah, catch a fair bit of uh, yellow belly and um, redfin. Yellow belly is my favorite, tastes really good. Um, what about you girls, do you go hunting? I'm taking that knowledge back to my teams and sharing it with them. I'm educating myself, but then I'm also passing a lot of that knowledge on as my elders would do to me. Each individual family has their own totems. Mine is um, magpie and emu, and I'm really wanting to find out the details. Having these programs really opens you up to having that conversation and feeling comfortable in a team environment to ask those questions. There's a fire I was 10 when I first started as a goalkeeper. I tried for the Wagga rep team and no one had tried for goalkeeper and there was no positions really left on the field. So I was like, oh, I'll do it. And plus there was no running involved in that position. So I was like, sure, give me a go. <laughs> but after then, Paul Jones wanted me to kind of travel up to Canberra and um, be a part of his academy there. So we thought we'd move ourselves to Canberra and it was a great opportunity. Yeah, it was, it was rough. Um, we lived in a tent for about two months, um, which was, yeah, it wasn't great. My stepdad was also a massive help in that instance. He, he never let us feel his pain. He pushed through and there was days where he didn't eat because we ate instead. Um, we had probably two meals a day and he was the one that wouldn't eat one of those meals because he wanted us to eat. It was a change, a moment of change, to be honest. I realised you can hit rock bottom and you can pull yourself out of it. It was difficult when my injury came about because I had just been invited into the Matildas camp for the games against Chile and to miss out on that was pretty heartbreaking. I'm wanting to get back out this year so then I can hopefully be a part of the Olympics. It would be amazing, it's always been a dream since I started playing football to be a part of that and I'd love to get a tattoo that was the ring, so. <laughs>